Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. Well, the last three months, we've been working through the leadership attributes model, which is this triangle. At the bottom was character. and We've talked about that in January and the previous month. The next one, level up is results and relationship. Leaders have to accomplish the mission, have to take care of the people. And most people are not wired for both of those with natural talents. So we have to learn to adapt, and that takes some courage, too. And then the next level up was we talked about last month is emotional intelligence and how important that is to be able to be aware of your own emotions and manage them and respond, pick up on the other person's emotions and respond appropriately so they feel safe and good. Well, this month, we're going to talk about courage. Now, courage is really kind of the anchor that goes up through all of that. Uh, one of the great books of, about courage is done by Gus Lee. Courage, the backbone of leadership. And no doubt it is because it's what holds us together to be the honorable people we want to be. Also, it helps us do the right thing and not do the wrong thing. So we all struggle with that. In fact, in chapter one of my book, Engage with Honor, I spent that whole chapter talking about how it's in every human being's uh, wiring, we're born that way, to make mistakes in ter terms of honor. We're going to lie, cheat, and steal sometime or another. Every human being is going to do that. And so we have to work at it, and we have to learn to coach ourselves to be more honorable, and that means to be courageous. And so what we've done is we put together some help for you on how to do this. We have the coaching card, which you can download on the website. And on one side, it's the size of a business card. You can carry it in your pocket. On one side, it says, take the coaching, the courage challenge. Lean into the pain of your doubts and fears to do what you know is right, even when it doesn't feel safe or natural. We've got to lean into the pain of that insecure feeling and be courageous to do the honorable thing. And then we have the honor code, which you can also download in the seven articles in the honor code. In the military, we have the six uh, articles of the code of conduct, which has sustained us in the POW camp. But here we have created the seven honor code items that really will help you where we put courage in the middle of that circle because courage is required to be faithful to do every one of those areas of honor that we all have. So that's two things we have to provide for you in that area. And then, of course, uh, we are, usually have some things available for you each month. And this month, we'll have a handout about a three-page from the book, Leading with Honor, which is from the chapter on courageous accountability and, and courage. Confront your doubts and fears. So I think you'll enjoy working through that. And there's some coaching questions at the end of that handout you can download. So the bottom line is to be the person you want to be as a person, as a performer, as a professional, as a parent, you're going to have to have courage and overcome your doubts and fears to be the person you want to be, you need to be, and you pretend to be, and you will be. Check it out. Thanks again for being with us today. See you next month, and God bless.